so it's going to come down to if Bruno can use his push to pass strategically, try and track down AJ and maybe take a win here at Road America. Uh, lap 45, we've got six laps to go, five as soon as they cross the flag next time. It's going to be close as we look at the battle with uh, Catherine Leg Royal Surf. Oh my goodness. Oh my me. God, massive accident. Oh my God, that is the motor, a car, a tub landed upside that down. That is the kink. I uh, don't know who that is. Well, of course, it yellow might be we don't know who that is right now, but okay? uh, that is the fastest part of the track down at uh, the, the exit of the kink there, turn 11. That is a very, very scary place indeed. And uh, that is, of course, going to bring out a full course caution. And uh, we've all got our fingers crossed here. That is a very, very scary place to go off the road. AJ yeah, Omni Catherine, still leads. Catherine, you got a copy? Catherine, have you got a copy? So it is Catherine Leg who has had that crash down there at turn 11. And uh, the, obviously clears some concern from the crew and everybody. Look at the debris that's been strewn across the racetrack. That is uh, absolutely flat out in this car. She's been, uh, she, she made her last pit stop on lap uh, 43. So a couple of laps ago, and it takes Chris, certainly a yeah, couple of laps a to get uh, full uh, temperature into these tires, get the tires up to the optimum working temperatures. And uh, that is uh, a very, very scary incident. She was running inside the top 10 uh, was Catherine well inside the top 10 and Dyson with some cars there. We don't know what happened, but we will uh, keep our eyes on that one. In the meantime, we are under caution with just five laps to go now and uh, Age Olmeninger still leads the motor race. Bruno Ginchera in second place, Sebastian Bourdais third, Justin Wilson fourth and Oriol Servia in place and uh, Dan Clark now will move up to sixth. I believe that uh, Clark and uh, Leg Wood, uh, but Dyson for that sixth place. Tagliani seventh and Zwartzman, Jan Heel and Andrew Ranger in tenth place. Absolutely frightening rack. Let you say, Jim, that is one of the fastest. That is the fastest corner on the circuit, if you will. Uh, the kink there down the back straight on the way up to Canada Corner. Uh, impossible for us to know exactly at this point what happened. And, uh, you know, with I think we only have four laps left to go next time by, it's going to be close to see whether or not we get back to green because this is going to be, I think, a while to clean up this wreck. So we're... Uh Look at uh, Sebastian Bourdais. Uh, with the, he's got. Uh, he's running in third place now. So AJ Olmeninger is in the lead of the race and uh, looking to uh, clinch a championship. And there's a flat tire for car number 15. That's Alex Tagliani. He's running in seventh place, so he's lost uh, the the whole tread on that tire tar on the Team Australia entry. He's going to bring that car around to make a pit stop. He was running in seventh place was Tag, and he's of course going to uh, lose several positions there as he comes around one more time. So that's very, uh, very interesting. He's just tiptoeing right now. It, it's so easy to damage something in the uh, in the car here. As we look at some of Sebastian Bourdais' career accomplishments, Jeremy. Just an amazing career he's had. He won the French Formula 3 Championship in 1999. Three years later, the Formula 3000 Championship. And then he came over to North America, won the Rookie of the Year at the first attempt, of course, in 2003. Since then, two straight championships and gunning for a third here this year as well. But uh, the most amazing thing to me are the percentage of stats, wins, 39% of his races started, he's won. Podiums in f almost 60% of his races, almost two out of three. Poles, 44% of the times uh, of, of his races, he started from the pole. Unheard of records in the Champ Car World Series, James. It's almost inhuman what he's able to do. I mean, like you say, you look at those numbers, and uh, he, he's come, he came into this series absolutely kicking. Let's look at some replays here of Catherine's incident. This is the kink. Now she's back. She's already around, and she hits the wall with phenomenal force. The car flies up in the air, catches the fence a bit. The motor breaks off as she comes back down, and the tub continues to go as the, as the gearbox and the rear tires up in the air there as the tub barrel rolls down the, uh, the outside of the track there. Incredibly, incredibly scary shunt there. We're all fingers crossed, praying now for Catherine's safety. Hopefully, she's all right. The the safety team got there within seconds of the accident to try and tend to Catherine. Uh, we have not been able to see if they got the tub back over, what kind of condition uh, the the tub managed to be in. But um, well, there, that's, of course, there is a safety cell on these cars. It's a, a composite shell with uh, honeycomb and uh, carbon fiber and no make that uh, strength. The tubs are immensely strong. It's a, kind of a survival cell, if you like, that goes around the driver. And uh, the red flag is coming out as we speak. There is uh, Alex Tagliani being in his Team Australia car onto pit lane. There is the red flag being waved by JD Wilber. So we're going to bring the cars to a halt on the start. We're well, presumably on the start. Finish the red flag. And uh, we're going to try and get this.